I have no idea. It's so random. So anyways, the point of counting down. All right, and we're live. Hello, everyone. This is NGDC joining us for a react. Actually, this is a react part and podcast this time as we are doing a podcast recording of our normal stuff and also going to be having our reaction and thoughts on the new generation of Milo Pony. Uh, good. It was good to be home. Maybe we'll find out. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, join me again by random YouTube order, which is really confusing this time. Uh, DB. Hi, everybody. My name is DB Art. Uh, I am not your typical My Little Pony fan, but I am a fan. Uh, I'm more of a, eh, I don't know why you call it like a skeptic or whatever, but. He's my best friend and I dragged him into it. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Thanks, DC. Next up, Carlos. Hello there. This is Gunno Gator here. It's just here saying it's a whole new generation, huh? And I'm not the same brony that I once was. Coming in here as an alligator. Get yourself <laughs> ready, next generation. You're going to have some diversity up in here. <laughs> Hoo-ha! Next up, Jen. I may be first. I may be last. I'm probably third in line for this, but I am always Jen. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and I and I still can't execute a catchphrase properly. Uh, oh well. But yeah, but yeah, excited for this. We are kind of going back to our roots in a sense. And also, a hey, br- the new generation has landed for MLP. Can't wait to see what what sort what we will see today. And then next up, second and day. Hey. Ooh, second day <laughs> has arrived in the new generation as one. <laughs> Hi, and I turn to this generation a still very analytical, very educated on review, second opinion. But, well, my doctor did say I should do some more heart healthy things and stuff. So I'm gonna try to be more chill and inviting, dude. Just come on in, enjoy. <laughs> Say hello to DB Art, the element of honesty. Jim, the element of laughter. You know <laughs> the slash gun metal gator, the element of loyalty. Second opinion, the element of generosity. Day lover, the element of kindness. And DC, the magic who put us all together. Woo! Yeah! Woo-hoo! Friendship wait, wait, wait. is reactions. Which Woo! one am I? <laughs> Woo! They have a, you were laughter. No, 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 get with that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, you're honesty. You're honesty. You're honesty. Honesty, Sorry. okay. <laughs> yeah, honesty. So he's Applejack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that actually fits really mm-hmm. nicely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In many ways. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like the comparison to like your favorite second. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a, it seems like you've just been on this giant loyalty quest for the past couple of years. Loyalty like quest for pretty good. Mm, yeah. I see. I know, you seem to be a very loyal family guy and all that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, Brian. How you doing? I've been here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you could, that Family Guy has ruined the words family and guy one after another forever. Yeah. Family, family, family Gator? Family Gator! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want, a ga- I want a Gator with Stu. I want a Gator with Stewie's voice like right now. <clears throat> Fix me, would be mine. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. And then the next, and for my next list on my list of demands, I would like the Peter Griffin Gator turned into a purse. Oh no! <laughs> and then lo- and then the Gator Lois would be like, "Man, things have be like things have been different since your father died." Like, what are you talking about, vile woman? He, what are you talking about, vile woman? He was skinned alive and made into a purse, a lovely mm. baby purse. Yeah. <laughs> As long as herself next, did because she got so sick of the guy. Yep. And for my next <laughs> <to> the <best. laughs> Yeah. Right next to your cozy glow bag. 
<laughs> that thing is, right. a designer, is a designer item. All right, yes, but I guess the, going with the, up with the, uh, with the Meg throw rug, right? Exactly. Wait, which wait wait which throw rug is that? Meg. Meg. Ah, nah. Maybe a Chris. Maybe a Chris throw rug. Oh. Take on birds with that. Maybe a maybe a Chris throw rug, and maybe Meg can be Meg can be Mount, mounted, mounted, on the mounted, mounted, mounted on the wall. <laughs> Meg can be mounted on the wall. Peter Griffin will be turned into a lovely lady's purse, along with my cozy glow. With my cozy glow designer handbag and wallet <laughs> and heels. <laughs> wow. Never gonna cozy get to this glow reaction. designer handbag, I'll pay for it. Perfect. Uh, was- all right, but uh, moving on to what we've been up to, let's just quickly go through all this because we have quite the react to go to. So yeah. uh, oh, we do. Uh, this is a big day. Make it important, yeah. make it quick if you've got something to tell us about. Well, why don't I go first? We just saw Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, and boy, does Marvel's MCU still got it. Yeah. Yeah! No, they just add it. Like, I love their willingness to experiment with genres, ways to keep this fresh, and they delivered on their promise to do a martial arts movie. Dang, is this guy who was a stuntman born to be a martial arts star. He's no likable. please. He's got rapid-fire choreography. Seriously, this makes Captain America the Winter Soldier still the, my favorite Captain America movie, for the record, look like it's in slow motion. Mm-hmm. And that was the one that had these supposedly gritty fight scenes hand-to-hand. And, and beautiful anime, animated... Um, what is that? Um, back Backgrounds and... Mm. Our stuff going around. Yeah, and animated beautifully animated spoilers. Yes. Yeah, no, Ooh. don't spoil nothing. <laughs> Will do. I'm but waiting yeah. for it to come onto Disney Plus. It's almost here. Yeah. Yeah, it has my shot. It has a. It might be in my top five MCU movies. Me too. Hey. Hey. My, yeah, that is really big. Like, and I'm. Heck, there's a couple, like, if you disagree with me on a couple of rankings, I guess I'd ba- say mm-hmm. basically two Avengers movies and not quite the ones you'd think, but no, Ultron isn't one of them. Uh, yeah, da, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, and why can't I ever remember that last one? I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, Shang-Chi or Black Panther, fi- oh yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming. Ah! Because it's the modest one of the bunch. But yeah, Black Panther and Shang-Chi fighting for that fifth place slot. Brilliant. Oh, and the other piece of news is we have a new heavyweight champion of the world. Woo! Who's that? Yeah. Uh, his name is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Alexander Yusk. He's from Ukraine. Uh, yeah, last year, or maybe it was two years ago, whatever it was, it seemed like people might suddenly care about who the heavyweight champion is again, uh-huh. ever since they stopped caring when Mike Tyson turned out to not win the Mike Tyson era, era because we had three undefeated guys, all very unique with, like, super different strengths, all about to start fighting each other, and uh, two years later, one of them is about to finish off one of the other ones in a best out of three, maybe guy about to be finished off will surprise us but we don't know and, and meanwhile the third guy who i guess really didn't was a fluke who didn't deserve it after all he mm-hmm. uh lost to a big heavy guy who just like abruptly punched him out and made the world go huh and then after he won it back from that guy now the cruiserweight champion of the world who is used bumped up and boxed rings around him had everybody go, whoa, what amazing footwork, what speed, how smooth. He's this guy is a slick MFR. He's boxing Ooh. rings around them. Um, it looks like uh the heavyweight champ who's a real heavyweight's about to knock him out. He's gaining the event. No, that was just a fluke. Yusk is right back in it, beating him up. Wow, it's the last round. Okay, can guy who's a real heavyweight turn this around and knock out Yusk before he wins all the points? Well, he's trying, he's trying, well, no, wait, Yusk is about to knock him out. They're both trying as hard as they can, and, yeah, Yusk is fighting like he's the one who's behind. Wow, this fight ended up being kind of a blowout, after all. Okay, um, I guess we have a new heavyweight champion of the world. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yay! Yay! Yeah. But Yusuke is undefeated, so that does kind of revive that yeah. whole angle. 
Oh, and we also had fun with uh, one of our friends going out to something. Yeah, but that's not really geek news. Oh, so. that's not geek news? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that, okay. It is important, though. With something very cool to get going again after the coronavirus, the, Ameri the uh, Pennsylvania Three Rivers Native American Council uh, revived their yearly powwow this year. And, yeah, big event, lots of showcases, lots of uh scores cultural yeah uh, and infusement dancing. and yeah our friend who has some heritage there invited us yesterday so cool stuff nice and that's it Woo. nice 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 mm -hmm. next i guess i'll go next uh yes. let's i guess i'll go next uh let's see news going on with me uh well i have been i've been finally making the first steps into actually becoming a voice actor i just worked on my a uh, really cool i just i just worked on a first did a role for a my first ever project and i can't say anything about it because there are ninjas breathing down my neck ah, get away from me but no. um, different ninjas oh, 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 i'm not saying anything out 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 but there are, but either way, it is a, it's my first role, my first VA role ever, and I can't wait till it comes out, I can't wait, I can't wait till it comes out, and when it does, I'll get permission, and then I'll be, like, pimping it everywhere, because I'm so darn excited about it. Other than that, let's see, work, other than that, work, um, at work, and <laughs> threats of truckers, oh. threat, threats of anti-vaxxer truckers to Clog the, ha oh, the yeah. highways here. Yeah, clog the sure. highways here. Yeah, fun. But other than that, did a trip recently. Did it finally got to see my family a couple couple weeks ago? Finally, got, my, got finally got to see my family that I hadn't seen in a whole year. Oh my goodness! I actually saw my family today over Skype. Sure. Yeah. It's awesome. so nice. I mm. yeah. their mom's birthday. They all mm -hmm. gathered nice. around the camera. Oh, that was nice. really nice. That's good. I got to uh, see, finally see my dad and stepmom and stepmom that I hadn't seen in the flesh for a whole year and properly hug them. Uh, and properly hug them. They are also getting a new baby puppy at the end of October, and I can't <laughs> wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a puppy aunt. I'm so excited. A puppy stepsister. I something. I have no idea. I'll figure it out in a little bit. But a, a yes, puppy friend. That'll work. What's <laughs> until I figure out something better. <laughs> but yeah, I got my family got a project coming i'm so excited um other than that i don't like it i don't like fall mm -hmm. why it's cold i get depressed around it's spring. beautiful i know it's beautiful. Oh, things are dying it's getting it's cooling off and yet it's not winter Rango. with its festive christmas traditions but it has its perks it's got halloween it's yes. got I don't know. There is a sense of nostalgia that tinges fall yeah. for me, almost. Yeah, the beautiful leaves falling from the okay. trees. I, I would be right yeah. back, guys. Okay, having, well, to sweep, having to sweep up, having to sweep up said leaves from the lawn well, and from like, your have, backyard. Have, yeah. have you, okay, have you ever seen a sunrise in like the trees when the uh, leaves are like falling from the trees? Oh. If not, you have to. <laughs> the lover is the snowdrop of autumn. Yes. Well, then again, I well, love, actually, in October... I love I will... falling leaves and I love snow. Oh. Okay, well, in October, I will actually be going to a place called Hawking Hills in Ohio. So there will be plenty of, like, campsite, campsite, and who knows, maybe I'll get a chance to actually see that. And who knows, my maybe maybe my my stance will change. I mean, I, mean, I used to like the in-between season, but for some reason this year... For some reason, this year I find I find myself getting down really quick in in fall. For some reason, I don't have no clue what it is. Although there are there are you are correct. There are good some good things about fall. Like I love apple cider. Mm. I love apple cider. And winter and winter's cool too. Cause snow can be beautiful when you're out when you're outdoors. Yes. And I'll admit, snowball fights can be fun. Did I love snowboarding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm like Anna from Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Always. I'm I'm more like, do you want to shred some snow hills? <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> hey, I haven't tried that. I've done ice skating yeah. plenty, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, as, what's up? 
I said I used to be a figure. I used to be a figure skater when I was much much younger, and when I was much younger, and I had a lot. I still like am fascinated with the sport and such. I just haven't done it myself in, a, in forever, you know. Mm-hmm. I just haven't done it myself forever, but it's really it's it can be fun. It can be fun. The only thing is, it's it's fantastic exercise for your legs, but you need strong ankles for that. Sure. Mm. Especially if you're me, like I did plenty of rollerblading. The translation to ice skating was easy, but then yeah, for the family Christmas Eve ice skating event, uh, Day Lover is the first person I've ever brought home in any context who could ever skate ever. Like, I am so looking forward to this Christmas Eve because, yeah, past dates were always hanging on my arm, trying not to fall down. I'll probably do that. Swinging to me. I can, oh, yeah, I can you skate. Will be hanging on my arm for a different reason. Yes. I can. I think I. I think I've retained a few, a few of my my old older skills. I. I think. Uh, can really show anything they want. I, I might be able I might be able to still spin, I think. I think I could still I think I could still spin. Just don't anybody tell me don't anybody tell me to attempt a sit spin or a layback. It will not end well. Yeah, all all I know is how to go forward and turn. And that's <laughs> it. I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how to go backwards. I don't know how to stop except for running into the boards. We all gotta start somewhere. I just somewhere. turn and go in circles if I'm going too fast. If I get I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just know how to pick up speed. That's it. I used to know. I used to know some of the some of the tricks. I used to know some of the tricks. I used to be. I think I can still do that crossover thing that that skaters do when they're setting up for jumps. Uh, I can. I've never went, I never was able to do an axle, but I've been able to do like single, a few single things. I could probably try and attempt a toe loop and yeah, we'll, we'll see if I don't, we'll see if I don't like kill myself, <laughs> but um, the Something most I can... that's uh, really fun to try is like if you have, um, what's that called in English? It's like you put a, you uh, slide down a hill and then you slide on to the ice, and then you just go like freaking fast into snow. Dang. <laughs> sounds like sl- sounds you like are a, a snow child, aren't you? Yes. Me, me, like I'm snow. I'm snow. I'm winter. Bring, bring on the snow. I want it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> just, just, let's just let's just skip fall and go right to winter. Yeah. Okay? You know what? Well, yeah. you know what? I do want. I do want a snow. Well, you know what? I'll admit, I yeah, do I'll want wait. snow. I do want to snowboard again. So fine. Right. So far, yeah. yeah. Right, and as but, for uh, anti-vaxxers threatening to block off a highway, as Cartman put it in the other F word, you know, Harley Davidson riders, you are forgiven. There are two uh, groups who do anything for attention, no matter how stupid it is, teenage girls and you. You know what? <laughs> I take it back. Teenage girls are forgiven. There are only two groups that do any stupid thing for narcissistic attention, Harley <laughs> Davidson riders and you, probably because you're the same people. <laughs> <laughs> but these are truckers here. I'm like, really? Yeah. I'm like, at least I heard a rumor. At least I saw a rumor. One of my friends in my checks group was like, guys, be careful on Monday. This, this, this may happen. I'm like, what? I'm thinking, what? Really? Like, you? I just heard it on Reddit that this may happen. I'm like, oh, my oh God. really? Yeah. I don't. Oh, it's you swearly because it's on the Reddit. Um, I didn't either, but you know what? I, I plan not to go on the highway on Monday morning anyway. I have learned the hard way. I have been burned many times and late for work because of it. <laughs> Things were so much easier when it was locked down. And now that when it was locked down, I could I could go on the hot on the highway and be fine. But now it but now that people are getting back out there, it's been all it's been trouble again. All right, but uh moving on to the next person. Uh Who's up next? Did anybody else have anything to share? Would you like to share your thoughts with the whole class? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it for a second. I was like, no, I really don't want to share. <laughs> All right. And Carlos is still muted, so I guess I'll go. Yeah, I've just been... Mostly like finishing up uh, Ghost of Tsushima's DLC stuff, and Dear God, that game looks great on PS5. Um, 
Let me see also. What else did I fin- Oh, yeah, I also finally finished rewatching Cowboy Bebop. Probably good in time for the Netflix stuff that's coming out. Oh, you, oh, you, watched, uh, the, you watched the whole series? Are you waiting for Did you watch the anime, the actual animated one? Yeah, I watched the old uh, original series, like, back yes. to back. Because I haven't seen it in a while, and, like, dear gosh, I forgot how perfect that series is. <laughs> like, it is my favorite of all. It is my favorite of all time. All time. It even supersedes Sailor Moon. Forgive me. Oh, okay. It's just such a well-crafted show that this. So good. Like I brought up before. Right? It's like a HBO like mini series where it's like it's it doesn't waste any time and it does exactly what it does and like yeah that's such a well-crafted show. Will the Netflix series be a fraction of that? We'll see. Yeah. It actually comes up. In, it actually comes up in a news story coming up. And but, the fact uh, besides that. that sorry, my bad. John. The fact that and the fact that you know. That's that show. That show is that series is over twenty something years old, and we are still we are and and we are still watching it and talking about it and loving it to this day. That just says that's such the testament of. And you know what? It doesn't need any remastering or anything. It's perfect as is. It's perfect as is, and it's and it we still watch it to this day. It's still being shown on Cartoon Network. What that just says to the power of that series, honestly. Mm. Here, here. And also, and also, and also, anybody who is free to fight me on this, Cowboy Bebop soundtrack, greatest anime soundtrack of all time. Anybody wanting to fight me on this, I'll meet you in the Dad Daddy's parking lot. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, uh, I, don't know, I, will, I would see a beloved soundtrack if it wasn't attached hill. to Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. I'd be like, I will die on that hill. <laughs> but I guess the only uh, the only other news I would say was um, I was like, oh yeah, I made the decision and started moving towards actually having some chickens in my yard now, which Ooh. I have like six hens ordered, which I'll be picking up Wednesday. Hey now, baby, we got chicken in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to have a whole bunch of hens when I was younger as a kid, so it's well, not hens, roosters, and all kinds of chickens, but mm-hmm. now like, so I was like, oh, let me do it. It's like, I live in a suburb now, so it really wasn't a thing, and then it's like, oh, wait, we can technically raise hens here, so cool. doing that. Yeah, fresh eggs is just the best. Oh, yeah, that is true. That's one thing I miss from my youth is, like, fresh eggs are, like, their own flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That sounds really cool. Um, yeah. I've got a question for everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, has anyone checked out the uh, Star Wars Origins on Disney Plus yet? No. no. Star Wars? Visions? You're talking about Vision? Disney. Visions, yeah, Visions, sorry. No. That sounds No, nice. I, I mean, I have a bit of curiosity about Because it, it's, like, it's, like, it's a combination of, of Star Wars and anime. Which is Ooh, it sounds, that sounds badass, Ooh. and yeah. it's like. Heard some Wait, good have stuff. you seen it? No, I have not seen it yet. All right, because I've heard good things. I don't know if you're like about to hype it up. Um, no, I, I I want to. I I'm like, you know, I I might actually watch some today. <laughs> yeah, they're on to my to do list. It's just like I don't have Disney Plus because I don't really support Disney right now because they're sort of being extra evil as of late. So. <laughs> But I will, but I am trying to make an effort to find through some ways to watch that show. Okay. So, but yeah, that is on to do because I've heard good things and it is from some good anime studios. Mm. They might not all, so all the shorts might not exactly hit, but at least some of them should, which will be good. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. They'll probably have a better hit ratio than um, Disney Star Wars itself, so... Mm-hmm. Then, uh, then, uh, then uh, Rise of Skywalker, you mean? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's not start that right yeah, now. Next. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not guys. Um, I, this is not, this is, uh, unfortunately, this is not the time to sit back and watch Star Wars fans rip themselves <laughs> apart. But no. as entertaining yeah. as it is. Yeah. Uh, All right, wait. Uh, Carlos uh, is trying to jump in. Yeah, um, I was going to say, like, um, um, like so, like, uh, you finished mentioning, like, uh, your stuff for, like, the bulletin here? Yeah. Uh, it's your turn if you have, oh, yeah, have anything. Oh, yes. 
I like to get started with mentioning the new Netflix series that came out at the start of this month. That is very underground, so underground that no one has really heard about it, not even anime fans. Okay. All right. It's a Taiwanese production with the full backing from the Taiwanese government that is called the Brave Animated Series. Oh. Okay. Huh. Is it based over the movie Brave or is it something completely no! different? No! God! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it is very much completely different. Oh, oh trust me. Imagine, <laughs> imagine a series with like super cute, like a uh, chibi, um, like a uh, character characters of like of like a uh, heroes and knights basically going up and trying to slay the demon king, as you would see in any typical isekai story. Except for okay. this is not an isekai story. Mm-hmm. But um, here's the thing. It is very much the biggest subversion of like that of like that trope, like as a lot of more other subversion stories have shown like in recent memory for like cartoons and for anime. But it does it in such a way that the cute art style clashes with the fact that we're talking about a seinen level storytelling of like of like a parody comic series from Taiwan of like Heroes being revealed to be the biggest jerks in a hope imaginable, literally slaughtering like innocent demon races, all for the sake of like of a government that is just giving them profiteering money from like their war efforts. Oh wow, mm. that's a, oh wow, that no, uh, that's a twist. Oh, and also the king looks like looks like fodder from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. <laughs> Like or a horn or horn <laughs> because he's wearing the glasses. Yes. Wow. I am not even joking. Wow. And and, the, and basically the first episode of the six episode mini series for like the first season mm-hmm. is literally a prologue of all the stuff happening, with like one of the most interesting bland protagonists possible. In which, like, we have, like, the basic lawful good character who honestly has empathy for, like, demon races that are, like, are very much, like, they're innocent. They're not the ones that are, like, the evil demon king that they're supposed to kill and such. Ah. But ends up getting disillusioned so much by this when he tries to go on a rogue mission to...
it's like it brought all the feelings from G4 back. It yeah. brought all it brought them huh, it brought them all back. And it's like those feelings and such they never they never really go away. They never really mm-hmm. go away. And sometimes you just you just need something to remind to remind you of them, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and I will tell you this we are recording again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn, turn on turn on the recording when the when the water one water waterworks start. Good job. Oh, they were, oh, 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 I held them back. I, I, kudos. I'm patting myself on the back, and I don't need to do and I don't do that that much. I held them back. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. there, there. But I also had I like will, that, Jen, with like well, I, it's yeah. a peanut mixture of almost every episode we have ever seen including yeah. the ending of <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, every to condense what is not in this recording <laughs> thankfully thankfully mm-hmm. just be just jen in her feelings of everything all the the stuff from when i first entered into the entered the show and entering the fandom and everything and everything coming back to it but also not just not just but also every bringing everything back and it being properly honored and just mm-hmm. given, well, as Izzy says, a glow up. Yay! Mm-hmm. <laughs> we like glow ups. We well, do. I, like, and, like I mentioned in like the recording for the React and here is like, I don't know, like it's too soon to say this is better, like in the same ballpark as G4 in terms of, because this is just a movie and not the show, we right. think that's going to come from it. Right. However, I can confidently say that this movie I felt was better than the like G four movie. Oh yeah. I, I gotta, you know, I have to agree. I I'm, I just feel like it would be wrong to say better than G than the G four movie. I say on par. I say on par. I actually uh, think this is I'm a little better. Say, <laughs> in my opinion, like. I'm Everyone's sorry. opinions can vary, but like in mine, I'm strong. Now, what I say was, well, is it better necessarily than some of the better Equestria Girls films? Uh, that will take yeah. more thinking True. for me. But like in terms of like just to compare this to the G4 movie, I, I'm pretty confident saying this is better. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's that close. I mean, the G4 movie, you know, the, we fans defended it because of course we did. And I mean, it was yeah the main six on a uh, adventure that hits the <laughs> adventure beats and uh yeah the fact like fact that critics from the outside looking in found things to pick apart i mean well, they- no kidding we didn't care about that but i mean like yeah you compare these two i think it's especially easy to see where the g4 movie slipped up like yeah. that this has well i was going to say much better pacing but heck it has actual pacing it takes its time on that setup. It makes you want to see this main character succeed. It mm. uh, sets up this group dynamic. It sets up its stakes. It sinks its hooks in and like what it's trying to get across. Uh, the back half of G4 already had a habit, like as the production team switched over and switched over again of uh, thinking they like n- needed to, that there were, I don't know, hipster things they were supposed to do that they like they were supposed to perform for the fan base or something like some of the uh yeah winks at the camera and such they got a little try hard and stuff the movie i don't know i like i guess i don't know if it got wrapped around its need to deliver but it i think tore through itself with that the movie how it plays like with okay Oh, let's do They Got the Beat, and then there's a, a festival or something, and then Twilight is nervous, so we do the You Got This song with that oh, intro, yeah. like, oh yeah, this is the uh, mm-hmm. most important, desperate, you better not mess it up day of your life, so don't sweat it. That means we should sing the You've Got This song now. We sing the You've Got This song now. That means Sia should enter. Sia should enter, like, hey, bad guys! It's like, huh? you know, you know, you know, you get, you get what we're doing here. It's like this thing, yeah, the bad guys are evil because they're evil, and then, the, like, it's the equivalent of a comedian who gets nervous before the show and decides they're going to counterattack just like that tries to make sure that they crank their delivery up to 11 and sounds frantic and forced and unfunny and uh, what was that one from 
like America's Got Talent when they demonstrated their comedians getting nervous, like, oh yeah, Christmas, they say I'm too fat, so they gave me some uh, Twinkies or something, they called me, I, ho, 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 they, like, I don't know, it was very, very frantic, like, this, I think, demonstrates the difference, right, it kind of sinks its hooks in over time, it is a lot more confident about what it's doing. Yeah, I think so. At least so it feels. Did anyone have these moments where it was like, wow, it's aware of itself, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I mean, not too much, which was... Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, the... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't... Like, the humor in general where something, like, um, is almost feels desperate to show you that it's clever. Yeah. That it, like... Yeah. But I like... Yeah. I, it's not just a wink at the camera. It's a wink, an elbow in the ribs, and another elbow in the ribs, and another elbow in the ribs, and an ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> say no more, say no more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like... Um, but there were surely a lot of references, but I think, like, they were all good. <laughs> it was yeah. just so beautiful, like, <laughs> getting lost in the backgrounds, and the ponies <laughs> looks amazing. Their hair looks oh. eatable. Yeah. In I, and I could I could imagine I imagine them all as plushies and yes. petting and and petting them all. I, yeah. I want the small dog with the wings as a plush. Mm -hmm. Or what? Like you know this what? is how a unicorn such and such is songs like it has our it had its moments like it, it, unicorn butts. This is how a unicorn ends this song. But like the whole song wasn't shoving that kind of stuff in your face. It wasn't like no no, no see how. Funny I am. Notice, notice. It was, it's like, oh, Brony Senpai, notice me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a little the unicorn bots are like, oh, here we go. Charming, right? it's, not, it's going to go three seconds and then they're going to, cho to change it to. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go the there. Bus there. I was like, oh, You're not even like, one hey, movie into the generation and you had to go there. <laughs> and I was, I was like, like eh. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But I, uh, like, no stopping it. <laughs> when I, when I saw the pictures of these new ones, I was like, hmm, this looks like they're a mixture of the main six, which I thought was funny because like you guys were also like, oh, this is the new rarity, and I'm like, I'm not the only one that's seen this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one. And then after um, I watched the movie, I saw like their cutie marks and I was just like I was spot on on the main character yeah. on like uh, Issy and uh, a couple of the others too. I think the only one that I didn't get was the Shining on Murphy. <laughs> ah! Did <laughs> anybody like, see, I swear I did anybody else see like I swear I saw echoes of Derpy Hooves in there. I saw like yes. a spring and I saw like the main style. Yes. I, I think I saw I think I saw one I saw a pony that looked like Derpy Hooves, only she wasn't wonky eyed. I don't know if I'm seeing great Derpy Hooves ghosts or something or what. Um I, I, don't know, I, don't think, I think there was I a just, reference to her. At some I think point. there. I'm thinking there was. I think there was, and I would. And I would be proud to go through watch this movie again, and tell, <laughs> and yeah, and until I find them. I, I could I also um, watch this again. I can just to go them. like um in terms of cool designs. I really like how um gosh, what's the main her main character's name? Sunny, Sunny? Star Scout. Sunny, Sunny Jaw Sunny. Like yeah, I remember the other ones like Hitch and. Uh, yeah. Izzy, um, and Pip, and all that was just like, oh gosh, what's the main character? But yeah, Sunny. Um, I really like her basically, um, alicorn design where it's actually not alicorn, just like made of magic. So she's still yes. like an earth pony, but it's like there's yes. magical elements. I really love that design choice. Um, Make sure nice of Twilight and Sunburst. Yeah, it's it's that's what I had. I can't believe... stop bringing Sunburst back in your amalgamation I comparisons. Love that shit. I can't oh. believe they they brought up the alicorn. Alicornication, yeah. In that, in that early, I was like, well, like then we know good. there's more ways to become a alicorn, right? Which it's I like, had in oh, my theories too. I realized, I realized, now I was like, I was like, she's got, she's got wings in your horn. You're not doing this now. You're not doing this now. It's, it's too early. Not now. It's too early. You're no, not ready. No. But, then, but, but then, but it was like Ninja said, it's like it's kind of like 
magic-y, like, it's not yeah. solid, but I'm like... Oh, it could be interesting if she can pass it along to our Earth ponies. Mm. 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 I might pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Sorry. if the uh, Sprite can... It's the uh, dream of alicorn well, cake. Evil alicorn. Well, then, it looks like a certain... Like, uh, what I said before. It's like I have to drink uh-huh. of alicornication everywhere. <laughs> okay, but that said, like I will say for this movie, um, I mean, started out, it was, yeah, twisting its daggers pretty good. Like the, the uh, yeah, jabs at um, implicit prejudice and how, uh, that is sold in the modern day and age and all that. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Parodies and um, even, yeah, taking its time to kind of make this char- this main character lovable and mm-hmm. all of the above. Okay. I mean, it wasn't like one of, I guess, the great movies there for getting all of that across. I mean, you know, this, like, I didn't feel like we were seeing the next Zootopia or something, but it was definitely a success i was definitely into it and i do remember a moment um along the way where i thought like okay i'm not caring as much now around like honestly that third act fallout which um but i think like there were points that got like a little weaker in that direction as it went along like uh sunny and izzy I, i thought they did a good job setting that up or even sunny and hitch like their relationship and you know how um yeah hitch he try like they didn't get along on a lot of things but there was like definitely a, an undercurrent where hitch was a good guy and did care about his friend here and yeah is he the cutesy ways they were bonding and i mean like okay if you thought back to this movie like okay think about like the three or four best bonding moments in the G4 pilot and think about the best the three or four best ones in this and like what are they and would you really say there's much comparison um best like best mon bonding moments in G4 compared to in the movie to, to compared to the well, G5 just like movie the, the pilot here like oh, okay. what Fluttershy is showing us that she's super social anxiety introvert only to go to uh oh please tell me all everything about Spike straight from Spike and how let me help take care of him and let me be your friend around this or like, yeah, Applejack um, using this reassuring presence she's demonstrated the whole time. Like, yeah, having to tell Twilight hanging on the edge of a cliff that she's going to be okay or even as derided as, oh, they're afraid of ghosts sometimes Mm -hmm. is just like them like falling on their backs laughing together over like what an adventure that was. Okay, and here... We get um this is more smooth yeah. for me. Well, okay, think of like drive that bonding in, make you really believe it. We yeah. have sitting around the campfire with uh oh aqua uh, aqua marine is my like my sixth favorite color was pretty <laughs> funny, like her yeah. Yeah, is he um getting one off there? I mean that's like a good like one line bonding bit, but I mean like this point where you really or this feels like yeah, this really believable, lovable friendship that you would want to be a part of. Like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I mean, maybe, I, well, I'll, yeah, cede my turn to what it, for what everyone thought of it. But I thought it had, like, shades of that more so than it pulled it off in itself, this movie. I yeah. mean, anybody else? I like the friendship, especially with uh, Sonny and Izzy uh, in the start, even, like, they already like became friends so for so fast, but it just felt more genuine. Not that the main our old main six is not genuine with their friendships. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it felt like more smooth to me or more like believable. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm too, <laughs> just cute. Honestly, I'm not sure either of them get a point where we could like oh, maybe debate I believable them too. Betterly, better, <laughs> betterly is not a word. We could debate believable. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I don't know. Did anybody think that this movie got? Because I mean, I felt like the pilot of G4 got the got its moments into really 
drive that in to make you really want this and see what came next. Mm -hmm. And this movie, or like for a step back, I think like the premise of the G4 pilot is introvert who does, who resists friendship, not because she's Ebenezer Scrooge, not because she's Oscar the Grouch, because she is an introvert, like most bronies, more bronies than not probably are, mm -hmm. at least in some way, who likes what she like, likes to immerse herself in her pastime and her passion and doesn't want to be pulled out of that. The premise is that mm -hmm. hit right in the face with a, it's yeah, there, some people she really connects with and who, mm -hmm. yeah, honest, who want to, yeah, be a part of what she has going on, who want to like her and appreciate her and have this connection that, like, really warms you up inside and that you can have fun with and get behind and all that. The I Yeah, those two that. combined. The uh, premise of this is, hey, we're all friends again. Isn't that nice or something? I, I just realized something. I'm sunny. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm the extroverted pony that wants to, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Yeah, or I should say, like, what friends. is laid out to go on forever after. <laughs> yes. So, okay, <laughs> that's the point where I felt like, okay, this, where I'm not sure I care about this movie quite as much as, like, what kept me going through G4 and where I'm not sure that the fan base is going to rev up behind it the same way either. So, and does just, anyone want to contradict me on that one? just have to have I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel, I feel like uh, this movie honestly gives me confidence that, there could be a budding fandom for this, honestly. Yeah. Aside from like the old bronies, because yeah. really, like, it if felt it has so to... seemly. It yeah. felt not cringy. That yeah. was the important thing. Right. The there, there was very. Like wasn't there cringy. Was very that's minimal. true. Yeah. That was a very minimal. There was the only cringe. The only cringe on there was whenever. Okay. The only cringe, honestly, was whenever Sprout said, "Mommy." <laughs> that's, that's the only cringe. But then again, that's I realize now that I for, I didn't I forgot who was in it. I know Vanessa Hudgens was in it, but I forgot who anyone else was. But then I was shocked when I saw Ken Jong in in the credits for Sprout. I'm like, are you kidding? Oh my gosh! But then I remember like, okay, that that kind of makes sense. That's kind of that's kind of his humor in a sense, and the delivery of it, like, oh, that makes sense. No, that but that's um, something. Just, uh... Yeah, I just want to point out, I was like, I, I think it's an interesting, uh, this is essentially an inverse of what the G4's pilot was, or G4's pilot was basically an introvert, like second was saying, basically trying to basically go into a very friendly, open environment that's basically trying to open up to her. Here, it's sort of the opposite, where it's like her trying to warm up a cold, basically sealed off environment, basically right. everyone's divided and depressed sort of thing, so it's like the flip yeah. of that. I like what they. I also like what they did. Um, what they did to each of the each of the the tribes. You had Earth ponies who were just. Well, no, it seemed like it's you had just Earth ponies that were just you know just there. You had unicorns that were s superstitious, hipster, and depressed. Yeah. And then also mentally had, traumatized. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much, uh, pretty much. And then you had the Pegasi, who were living a lie, but yeah. they're the ones with the technology. No, but I they're the ones. Idea. But they're the ones with the technology. They're the ones. They're the ones with the cell with the cell phones and such. But the interesting thing then is that they're living a lie with the royals, and that with with the royals yeah. uh, only the royals can fly and such, and they lived a lie under that. I yeah, I think we such an interesting, such an interesting um, uh, 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 dynamic between all three, all three species and such. Yeah, I think it's, it's worth pointing out that the sort of like go to uh, pony speciesism and all that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Unicorns really are sort of screwed without their magic because they are like yeah because like the earth ponies and the pegasi actually like had, were doing pretty well. Like they'd right, they did like this. Technology. Well, no, 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 that's, that's one thing. That's the only minor issue. But here's the only, well, you know, I guess, I guess, that's it. I guess the Pegasi were like, well, okay, we can't fly. Only the royals can fly. We're not flies. We're we're not royals. We can't fly. Okay, fine. Then what the heck am I doing with these wings? Um, <laughs> and what the heck am I doing with these wings? Uh oh. Bing! <laughs> but but uh, it did uh, take that tree down. Yeah, horns yeah, are sharp. You can sure use them for that. 
That's yeah, another like, question. How'd well, I think it is sort of interesting just because, like, I bring up just because, like I said, the pony, not pony, whatever the heck the one the Earth pony place is called, I forget. Um, uh, Mar- Maritime, Maritime Bay. Bay. Yeah, Maritime, Maritime Bay. Bay. Like, that's a pretty, like, developed city, like, a nice city town. Then, like, um, the Pegasi City, which I forget, which is, like, Art Deco as heck. Z- Z- it was Zephyr, Zephyr Heights. Zephyr Heights. Zephyr Heights. Like, that's a very advanced city. Then, like, the unicorns are basically living in, like, some cabins in the woods with like even their dance dance revolution machine is like powered by like uh armadillos (laughs) i I was interested yeah that was just an interesting dichotomy you think uh dichotomy where with the unicorns living like that you know um that's quite interesting but my gosh the pegasus city so gorgeous Beautiful. Like, like, if, yeah, they cool. they clearly like, I could keep bringing up the one with an Art Deco design, which I love. Which yeah, oh, I beautiful. like for reference, like me and Jen live in the Cincinnati area, which like this city yeah. has a lot of influence from Art Deco's like the twenties, like basically pre depression like art art direction. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely, and it, it, just the fact that it was everywhere in the, it was some real. Oh my gosh, kudos, Day. I'm with you. Kudos. To the background designers, to the environment, yeah. the environment designers, just all the <laughs> clap and the, all the clap applause to the background designers because every every environment was gorgeous. Every environment yeah. was beautiful, especially the Pegasus City. It was such care, and especially with as you were saying the Art Deco design, just such care to detail and to detail on that and everything. It's so beautiful. It's like I want to take a freaking vacation in every single. Yeah. Every single destination. That's true. Hi, Dave. You said you had something you're excited for them to explore through this, through a series, through a TV uh, show. I don't know, but I like was like if it can make us feel the feeling like me and Jen has mm-hmm. as uh, old time viewers and have me having the feeling of like I watched every single episode all in one, just in as a movie mm-hmm. and. I had, I still have my main six. They're there you just go. There you go. Well, five of them. Well, like no, no. Yeah, they're all in there in the no, combinations. The, the evil one sprite is Starlight Glimmer. Oh yeah. We don't need a new Starlight Glimmer. And yeah, she was an evil overlord trying to t- take over everything. She got she like her 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 redemption, and she didn't get that much uh, judgment. Right. right. Okay, right. aesthetic similarities for ding, 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 a character ding. who did not, well, who they tried to give some character to, but they just <laughs> sort of awkwardly didn't really know what to do with for the entire back half of the show. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Sprout, the mama's boy who wants <laughs> to be impressive. Oh my so, goodness. The fact, my gosh, he's the only source of cringe. Yeah. I mean, the fact that, my gosh, a mama's boy, well, a mama's it's... boy, and also a tyrant, <laughs> a mama's boy, and given enough power, he's a freaking tyrant. But it's yeah, also a... a good message for, uh, you know, um, grown-ups, for the children, like not to put, you know, your ambition and power onto your children right. like that. I'm, I also we had, but but this was this was interesting. Oh, the the mom. I'm we're, I'm sorry. She's Pony Karen. Okay. Yes. She's Pony Karen. Okay. I I, yeah. I mean, I'm I will. Not like, sorry. She's Pony Karen. But yeah. and, and she behaved almost like it. I was like, I was waiting for. Her. I was like, come on. You're gonna ask for the manager. You're gonna ask for the manager. I'm. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I know it. You're gonna do it. But, I am like, the manager. Yes. Mm-hmm. She. See, that's the. Now, okay. That's the problem. She can't ask for the manager because she is the manager. So. <laughs> But yeah, that she was such like a Karen, a, a gave off Karen vibes without it being a complete 100% rip off. Though it, I, I'll admit it would have been kind of fun. To, it would have been kind of fun to see like to, de- them go complete, have that pony go complete 100% Karen. But, <laughs> but like instead, it was like I mean, I guess I um, if it was the intention, admire the um, yeah, flipping it around where right. the. Uh, the uh, spoiled rich kind of nose right. in the air, nosy, know it all. Um, gotta, yeah, control, like, make sure you all, 
yield to my ignorance kind of yeah, character. Like, yeah. I, I guess I um, respect, like, flipping the usual dynamic of, okay, that character, and then the child is the one who just sort of takes after them, but then, of course, has to be shown that, yeah, n- nose in the air, women are mm-hmm. wrong and yeah, annoy. I like, I guess I can't, like, admire sort of flipping that uh, dynamic around for once and having her be the one who... Okay, it has limits and sees yes. the light, and the child oh, being the one who's just great. a hopeless and incomplete. That was great. Yes, I that mean, was that, great. Like, although for me though, it is it remains kind of in theory because like the transferring it onto Sprout, how well he sort of represents the issues they were bringing up. It's they oh. they went a very weird route with him. Like he yeah, they fall like, behind him. Horrible when he turns into a panicking idiot right. like yes. that's what makes him like and they and uh yeah his it's not really like um yeah the nuanced prejudices anymore and uh the it well actually what i would have like really admired is if they brought up how yeah what tends to fire people up like this is the sense of tribalism the sense of not only being afraid of the other but of being better than the other, of defeating well, them, like of the being unicorns. better than them. Well, I mean, like, the, the conflict, though, with the bad guys, like, at first they okay, went that route. To an extent, Sprout's, like, le- baby Sprout is like, oh, yeah, the legend says that the Earth ponies kicked their butts, and now we have a civilization separate from them now. And, the yeah, Mom, like, oh, all you're trying to like them instead of thinking they're bad and being right. afraid of them. I do not appreciate you brainwashing them with that enlightened nonsense, but instead they just, they go sort of the, yeah, well-trodden path that of Zootopia and the Croods and the Paranorman and even M. Night Shyamalan and his After Earth to an extent like, oh, the fear makes you, uh, yeah, want to uh, be hostile towards them instead of being their friend, and that is the problem here. That is what makes you get in a giant mm-hmm. Gestapo robot and have a slapstick climax. I mean, I felt like it lost some of its teeth there. Right. Its teeth that, like, could have been sharpened a little more and, like, yeah, come back for an even harder, like, a harder-hitting, a climax that was harder-hitting than the intro as opposed to fading out a little bit. Mm. Right. Well, what does uh, DB have to say? <laughs> yes. Yes, as the, uh, as you put it in the intro, the, what is it, the element of honesty? Yay! <laughs> the outside yeah! looking in. Yes. Well, I mean, okay. To be fair, I did watch the movie yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... So I had, you know, I I already seen it. So I was really looking at it as, okay, I want to focus on all of you guys, all of your reactions as I'm rewatching it. But for me, when I first watched it, I thought like, okay, this is it. It, it took some time to actually develop the story. The music was great. Um, you know, it it just it just needed that time to really like, as you said, Chris to second as to you know like get its hooks into you and draw you in and you know really uh provide like the the oomph that it needed to really get to that really uh great climax of like okay now all the different uh tribes have come together and they're actually going to work together um the second time i watched it Again, you know, the story is great and all that stuff. But for me, I took the second time watching it as just to focus on the uh, music side. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. for me, the first opening song, you know, Everything's Gonna Be My Day. Um, or Gonna Be My Day is like almost... Uh, it it, 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 it kind of got me thinking of uh, the Lego movie. Yeah. Their, oh, yeah. Everything, is Everything is good once you're part of a team. Everything is right. Awesome. And but like each and like each song that they, you know, introduced that it had their own meeting, meaning to everything. You know, mm-hmm. the 
the Sprout song was all about, you know, I'm going to take over and we're an angry mob in the headbanger song. <laughs> that was uh, uh, Izzy song about, you know, being, this is all about unicorns. Um, and yeah, it was, it was just great. Oh. I, I know I'm, I know I'm not, you know, your typical brony, but I'm, I'm slowly getting there. Yay. Ooh. Yay. We're winning our non-brony. It <laughs> have to work. It's working. Crank up the friendship. Stop. Also, I just want to boost the friendship point. points. Boost the friendship of ten more points. <laughs> yeah. so speaking of like just like things that just sort of feel, feel weird in retrospect is like um like how like Izzy's voice actors like I said is the uh, same who does horse and uh since our world. And it just so sort of feels weird, like her going from her song singing about like crushing skulls under yeah, your hooves to Izzy. <laughs> yeah. it's a crushing thing. trees. Yeah, crushing trees. Izzy yeah, might true. just still have a little horse in her after all. I mean, then again, it's also like uh, me looking at her like Lena from DuckTales, and I'm just like, where did you go wrong? You're supposed to be leading the magic of friendship, not just become one with the magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are all uh, part of the magic. We are. We are the magic. This we are is the where the magic happens. This is where the magic lives. This is where the magic begins again. Yes. Magic no. lives. It rises. Yes. The magic but, lives again. The magic lives again in G five. Yeah. That's all I got. It. So we will see. Is anybody going to compete with me with references? Ah, uh, let's see. I mean, compete compete with you with references. Like yes. how many? Like how many references can we find? Like I have a lot. <laughs> so I have like uh this. A scar from the Lion King song. Be prepared. Mm. Yeah, Sprite's evil it's song. It's with it's them walking in line. Song. Green, oh. green lights. Them even ending on like a top of a uh, some building <laughs> instead of stone. Yeah, like he's 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 on top of his podium and everybody's marching. You know, oh, I kind of think military, military style to that. I kind of yeah. think it's that the, both songs are going for Gestapo Third Reich imagery and, rather uh, than that one of them is a reference to the other. And also yeah. Starlight song, the the one that she has in the oh the our <laughs> town the our town our song. town yeah <laughs> wow that is also going for yes <laughs> sort of fascistic <laughs> or well, no, oh, no. oh that gave that gave me just fun that gave me just such fun vibes of the of the was that the one Sunburst? The one who was like, but I didn't listen. Yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then, then we have, of course, uh, Darth Vader, and like the breathing of him, and him being like really evil <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Your <laughs> destiny. Your destiny. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, like, yeah, and then there was the shower scene. You know, e e e. Oh, she's well, going the, to oh, die. The, 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 uh, shadow in the the shadow in, in uh the part of the song where he's like unicorns are not okay. Yeah. With, with <laughs> like, psycho. Yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Or even like or even like when when she's doing the makeup for for Hitch, she made him a yeah, clown. Like That's the right. sugar, yeah. <laughs> I love how they do the. I love the references they put in here. It's so, and it's clever what they do with these ref, with these references. And once you, and the cool thing is, is like once you get them, you find yourself laughing even harder because mm. I don't know, just that one fact, that delayed, that delayed effect that you get when you realize what the reference is. <laughs> so I'm just curious, like, um, what's everyone's favorite of the new main five? Ooh. Oh wow! For, for me, it uh, it's a toss off between Sunny and Izzy. That's really hard. Oh man. I mean, I guess 
like the their friendships with each other, I think, is characters they pulled out, like, shades of promise without quite getting there this time around. Like, I, um, I think the ones that stood out the most were Hitch and Izzy. Like, mm-hmm. Izzy I could still be in danger of turning into Pinkie Pie Light, but I think, like, they, uh, um, from what they laid out here, it's like, I think if they play their cards right, it seems like they've got a good combination of that sort of, like, joyful eccentricity and just more of, like, a sweetness, a more of a mellow sweetness. Like, it's joyful, but it's not, um, like, hyper, hyperactive. She seems more like the ADHD creative, I guess. Mm. So if they kind of lean into that angle, I think Izzy could be really delightful and then... Hitch with his whole, um, yeah, authority and, um, yeah, gonna show you how you get things done, gonna be responsible and awesome and all that. I think he, um, is the other one that stands out. I, uh, boy, you know, I, I guess I won't say that, like, yeah, they didn't, uh, yeah, get a fully rounded character with him. It's like, I'm more... With him, I guess it's almost like I'm waiting for some show to tell me, for more episodes or whatnot, to tell me just, okay, what I'm going to be getting into over time with him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the rest, like, I think uh, yeah, even more so that, yeah, uh, whatever leg of the franchise comes next is going to have to carry the weight of, mm-hmm. yeah getting, like, fan base level devotion to them. Yeah. What about, what about you, Ninja? Um, uh, or Kinger? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say, um, it's honestly a toss-up between Hitch and Sith, honestly. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest here. Zip? I think it's a Rainbow Dash type of character that I would actually enjoy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Doesn't feel like the ego combined that with like her. How should I say her mannerisms are very like s- more um. So- uh, it's like soft downtrodden in a way. She's like mm-hmm. she reminds like me. Tempest. She gives me tempest. She gives me tempest vibes honestly. Oh yeah. Zip, yeah, Zip, Zip gives me Zip gives me tempest vibes. Yeah, I mean like they. Start, that's what I mean by shades. Like, when she first shows up, you know, she's somersaulting around. She's, like, eager to find stuff. They give her, yeah. Okay, she's adventurous and confident and kind of sassy, but, like, for very fleeting moments. I, I, I think that, in fact, I kind of thought she got upstaged by Pip. Like, she, mm-hmm. once the scenes introducing her fade out, and those are already, like, soft introductions... She really doesn't stand out that much. Yeah, maybe not to you. <laughs> well, okay, what did she do to wait. stand out? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What are we talking about, it. like, a zip, uh, like, uh, being able to stand out over her younger sister? Like... Yeah, so Pip with all the live streaming and the, yeah, self glorification yeah. and the... <laughs> you I mean, blew it, my... my... Like, yeah. I feel like for Pip, she's kind of like the weak link out of the main five right now. Yeah. Just she's like the, honest here. She's like the she's pretty much the teenage girl influencer of the group. Mm. <laughs> and Zip the one, one thing about Zip that was interesting, I mean, yeah, there's shade she's like an interesting amalgamation of Rainbow Dash and Tempest. I she's given me more Tempest than Rainbow Dash, honestly. Um the one thing that that and the one thing about that is the one thing that they both have in common is that this is interesting. She's a tomboy princess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a princess yet she's a tomboy. Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah. That could be. Fun. That, yeah, I think that could be fun. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah like I, her... It's kind of it's kind of understated the fact that like the two princesses of the show are actually part of the main cast and both of them like in like four siblings and such. Yeah. Actually yeah, together. That's the... Yeah, that's an interesting thing I was going to say. Uh, well, one bring bring up is one day sister connection between essentially the rarity and the rainbow dash of the thing of the group. Mm-hmm, um, yeah. 
But I mean, I think I well, you haven't seen enough. I think of Pip to really judge her character, but like she reminds me. Yeah, she's definitely like very much the most direct. Like you can see her inspiration. Like she's definitely the Rainbow Dash in the group, but she does feel more tamed than Rainbow Dash. Where yes. like she, since she was raised royal and all that, even though she doesn't necessarily she's a tomboy of that, she's still at least aware that not to be basically like aware to at least maintain appearances and all that. Right. And like, yeah. Rainbow Dash is basically um, destructively. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, she's no like very Leone, and she stands out in a room, and she's not yeah. afraid to. That's no, she may, what's the word like? Um, what's it, uh, uncouth. Mm-hmm. No, like she like she takes like <laughs> unca- What's that word? Uncautious. Uh, what I'm looking for. Uh, Uninhibited. Yeah. Brave. Brash. I guess brash is in the same way. It's not the word I'm looking for, but it's in the same way. She's just very brash and cocky. Um, yeah. yeah, and that too. But like very um, what's like you like you take too much risk. I'm not, um, reckless. Reckless. That's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, it's a weird. I can't come up reckless. But yeah, she's like, Rainbow Dash is sort of, especially in the earlier seasons, had a very reckless nature about her. Mm-hmm. But she's basically ambitious but reckless. Here, Pip seems like she has her recklessness basically in check. Like, yeah, she's adventurous and all that, but she's not really putting people in danger with that. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing there is that, yeah, like I said what Izzy had to set her apart from Pinkie Pie, and I mean, I mean it. I think that this could be a, like, a less belly laughs and more charm sort of a character. Mm. Zip. I'm not sure she got anything on the table here that stops her from being Rainbow Dash Light. Mm. Like, it's just uh, I mean, in the same direction I mean, with less of an impression is what uh, I got from her. Oh, uh, second, let me just tell you this. I, mm-hmm. I think it all goes back to the thing I don't like about Rainbow Dash. Ego yeah. tripping. Even oh, when yeah. you, your ego is equivalent to your ability and capabilities. Mm-hmm. Where's it? It just seems like she has like this hidden desire doesn't really seem all that, like, I don't know, outwardly interested about, like, inheriting, like, the throne because she seems to be the older of the two sisters. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's just maybe some sort of, like, subtle maturity on her. I think that's the thing that really gravitates me towards her the most, for Mm -hmm. Zip's case. Uh, Well, I mean, okay, I could praise Adam Sandler because he's not Jim Carrey. I could praise him because he's not Polly Shore. The thing it doesn't work either way if the thing that you're praising is that they're just less. Like I mean, it's like ego and stuff. It's like okay, so you don't like tons of ego, but I mean, the thing you're praising is just that she's less that they took something away. No, I think I built more Mm. upon. Okay, well, I would hardline agree with you that Rainbow Dash is like including all tomboy characters from just about any animated show. It, we well, know. there's a reason she's my favorite is because <laughs> tomboy characters from any animated show. I think that, like, um, yeah, first several seasons, yeah, hit there, hit upon there that it's like as much. Up, well, when you when you think you're great, that's confidence. When you're afraid to lose, that's insecurity, and that there's a lot of like there's nuances and insecurity in there. So Rainbow Dash, you can hate that. Okay, they're using her to explore ego. But they sure as heck explored ego. They created a no, whole no, no. character out of it. So I, I, what have we got? I, I'm not going that's to... not that, but less. I, no, I'm. It, it's like I don't like Rainbow Dash. That doesn't mean she's a terrible character. Mm-hmm. That's just only about like like ability. But like as a character, she did more than enough for for like fully like showing like the flaws, being able to overcome them, showing the mm-hmm. huge whole spectrum for like a competitive athlete in like in a show like that that like even though I don't like her you, you gotta at least ex- respect her a whole but lot she had, for being one of the big yeah. icons but she, had, but she had some but the thing is she had some she had her growth you know yeah oh no 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 I I know about the growth uh, yeah even if even if that growth didn't necessarily make me turn into like a full on fan of hers like right. um, I, I still respect the growth I still like um i'm still considerate about that i'm not saying she's a blight 
No, it's okay. like so, me and Fluttershy. A fine character. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Fluttershy, on the other hand, it's basically with like later seasons, where it's just like, let's actually turn that shyness into sassiness, and then everyone just ate it up. That's she actually well, the, she the thing Fluttershy had the most Fluttershy had the most significant to me. She had the most significant and and uh lo, and significant and like almost realistic almost realistic growth of the cast uh, of the cast, you know. She's not I mean, thank goodness she didn't go from just being, you know, a shy introvert to an to a brazen out extrovert. She probably would always be, you know, not liking crowds not liking crowds and not uh not liking to take big risks and such but if she has to summon up but if she has to summon up whatever courage she's got in order to combat her friends to combat whatever is dealing with her friends then she'll do it i mean you got to remember this is the one poem I, i'll never forget this on one of most fluttershy's most unforgettable moments um was when she's standing up the one who was scared of her own shadow. And then in, one other, in another scene, she's yelling at a dragon, at a full-grown mm. dragon. Yeah, I mean, huh. yeah. I kind of thought what was more memorable was when she, uh, well, not memorable, like the dragon thing was yeah. memorable. But actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't mm-hmm. add to this tangent too much. But yeah, okay. I'll get, like, I do think that Fluttershy was better than Rainbow Dash in the character development department. Like, Rainbow in later seasons, I thought they had a combination of, okay, let's blandify it at some points, just, like, not make her ego as hard. And then in other points, when we want a car- a conflict to revolve around Rainbow Dash, let's Ned Flanders it. Let's caricature it. I thought that, mo- like, she had I well, I, yeah, frankly, all my favorite character development from her is in the first four seasons. Yeah, and then, uh, including season one fans who like to selectively remember that one. But yeah, and then like she had uh, every so often she'd have a good episode after that. But okay, like again, yeah, like the idea, don't like the idea, but I think Rainbow Dash had a ton of charisma to hold your interest. Like think of that Weed It and Weep episode where she's supposed to be just stuck in a hospital bed. That's her conflict, stuck in a hospital bed, bored out of her mind, Mm -hmm. resisting... The only, like, sa- uh, salvation she has. And, like, so she has to hold our attention there just sitting there. And right. she does. She's bouncing the ball off the wall, not missing a single time with that deadpan board. God, I hate my life. Look on her face <laughs> and trying to tell jokes to her neighbor that, like, even if she has to go real corny to keep the mood going and uh-huh. realizing that he can't do anything but stare one-eyed at her and mm-hmm. all of the above until she's finally like, okay, I'll try the book and I'll slowly like the book and I'll be, okay, really concerned about what this is going to do if anybody catches me because I am really clinging to my facade here, to my cool, tough act and <laughs> Being called an egghead is really not something I can bear. Here. Like, it's all just Rainbow Dash's <laughs> character compelling. And then back around to Zip, like, beyond one line, what did she do to, like, okay, this is the Zip show to get you into how much you like her character. Beyond any one line at a time, what'd she have? Unheard of. And frame one because the rest she did for Ooh, I think everybody left. Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, no, they're just like sports. Well, okay, like basically, the gist of it was okay. Can I say something before you all start? Well, I mean, you're uh, no, not to we, change my whole are, line of discussion there. No, well, like, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm go- just going to say... Where this is supposed to be a movie by itself. Like, I know it's nice that we have watched all of the old show, but even if we had never watched the old show. That's how review works, there. You compare and contrast with other things. But even if we haven't watched the old show, like, this movie just, like, puts everything into it. And I think, like, Sip has a form of loyalty that's weird like that that becomes 
easier for me than Rainbow Dash. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so the point I just laid out was that, okay, Rainbow Dash, whether, like, yes. like the idea or hated, she had enough personality and, and development to hold a room if she yes. wanted to. Like that Read It and Weep episode where she, the plot is she's stuck in a hospital bed bored out of her mind and she has to hold our attention through all of that like mm -hmm. yeah think about how you're yeah not waiting for scenes to end like her just bouncing that ball but with the uh, perfectly the with the uh that deadpan look on her face okay. just like hey no 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 because that nobody because mm -hmm. they're asking me to reiterate my point here they said what's going on they're okay they're she's yeah doing the bouncing the ball with that i hate my life look on her face and yet mm -hmm. is able to yeah, seamlessly do it until she finally just gives up from boredom and lets it roll away. And the telling the jokes, trying to get her neighbor to, yeah, provide some camaraderie there. And then finally giving into the book and like, and realizing that, okay, she likes something that she's real insecure about liking. That's okay. Almost a whole episode just held by what is going on internally in Rainbow Dash. Mm -hmm. zip here like what did you do to hold a scene to say okay i'm enjoying the zip show beyond what any one line what about the whole scene with the book her coming back with the book and being like oh i have information i have like something going on here we don't know she hands it's over the, the macguffin she says i'm very like, sneaky yeah. she gets upstaged by her sister who I mean, even if she, we are going to be rolling our eyes at the live stream thing, her sister has yes. a bigger personality. She's the vapid oh, no. and, uh, sit like, yeah, what do you, what do you call it when somebody's a star? The, um, the, influencer? Like the, 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 the one who the, loves to shine. The roll, the rocks and like surprising them and. The that? drama queen? Action scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they, yeah, she, and, she gets to have an action scene in silhouette that, and, hey, and something is coming that could be literally that she anything. she has this machine that can make her glide around. Yeah, she wishes she could fly. She's <laughs> yes. a deeper than her. They allude to stuff. They allude to mm -hmm. that she's deeper than her sister, that she is, and what is the first more open mind to the changing when she there. Gets magic Again. She flies. Okay, again, that's a what. <laughs> that's not a how. That's not a type of character that it, yeah, this well, is. I think it's character. This character wants to fly, and then she gets to fly. Okay, that's and not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about so personality. Much, I think. Yeah, they all contribute. It's a quest yeah. plot. Okay, again, you're, what did she, back to my original question, what did she do to hold your attention book, and get her into her character yeah. beyond any She tried to make herself like a, she's like an, inf like an influencer. Yes. Coming she's down, the, uni she's the unicorn. The, the, the tomboy one. Oh, the, the tomboy. One with rainbow wings. That's oh, ne never mind. Never mind. My bad. Never mind. But uh, just to go back to my point, like, because you were asked uh, who stood out the most. For me, I think I will agree with Hitch. I felt was probably my favorite of the new main five. Okay. Um, because I feel we, we got a good. For each main five now. I don't know about. Go ahead. DC. Listen, because he has this, uh, like I said, he's sort of like some characters more direct. You can see like a directly where they translate from. Like again, uh, Pip is very much influenced by Rainbow Dash, different character, but like mostly still sort of in the same personality range. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's other characters who are sort of mixes. Um, yes. And mm -hmm. with, with uh, let me see, with Hitch, it seems like a very much a mix of. Uh, um, Fluttershy and uh, um, Applejack. Applejack. Yeah. Or uh, Shining Armor. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, and like, that's why that I felt that combination, time. though. But I felt that combination works. And because, like, he's, like I said, he's a good balance between competent and also sort of incompetent. And, like, he's sort mm -hmm. of, like, he has a sort of charm that actually makes draws people and animals to him. But mm -hmm. at the same time, he's just sort of, like, says a silly nature to him too mm -hmm. so hey, just, good just, just just admit it i'm yeah, i mean he's basically he's yeah. basically, hall <laughs> he's basically like the biggest hall monitor possible he's like mm -hmm. he's basically reminds me of um ishimaru from dick and rumpa that's what oh. his vibes gives me off that's why i really like him so much yeah. 
kind of vain, kind of self glamorizing. Yeah. Uh, maybe not self glamorizing like you think, because like from the trailers before when I saw Hitch, I was like, I don't like that sort of type of guy. It's like, oh, you saved your child, ma'am. And it's like, mm. and our, every other scene is not that. So yeah, well, like, I mean, like when we uh, see him, he has calendar, a calendar that's nothing but pictures of him and stuff, and <laughs> yeah, he is, I mean, yeah, it's kind of more, it's kind of more of like a thing in the background for sure. Of like, uh, maybe it's like something like the town tronies do, but like then again, it was his choice to put that there. That, that's what I like. This movie had a sense of restraint. It had a sense of balance. That yeah, he's he is uh vain, but he you know that. They don't just like drown out his character and he's that vain jokes. They like let him be a a loyal friend, a concerned helper, just a likable guy. Mm-hmm. What about you, DP? No, I agree. I I'm on I'm on the hitch train. The hitch train. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on I'm I'm part of the hitch brigade. Uh, okay, so okay. So we have a Sunny and we have a. Oh, we have at least three who consider three Hitch, Hitch one of the best characters. Mm-hmm. Um, am I the only one who thought that Izzy was also fighting Izzy. for that title? So no, Izzy have... did a good job too. Yeah. Um, I think it's hard to put your f- finger on her personality sort of yet, but she is sort of like the Pinkie Pie inspired one, mm-hmm. but like not as crazy, like more like. <laughs> She's like her mind. You can understand her more. She's not as crazy as Pinkie Pie, but she's like. Yeah. She's arts like, and craftsy. Trying... She's she's sort of ADHD, right? She like yeah. she loses attention easy, and I mean she's. <laughs> the butterfly scene. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I I don't think she's out of the woods on becoming Pinky Light just yet, but I think that <laughs> I do. Like, well, I just went on the tirade about Zip. I think that mm-hmm. Izzy has like more. Uh, defined moments, more defined other traits to latch on to that they could mm-hmm. make her into her own animal, no pun intended, through. But um, but it does, but okay, am I, like, how many of those say that Izzy was possibly the best character? I, I will, I will concede to that. Possible Izzy for pos for best character possible running. Yeah. Like I was thinking yeah, about Evers on your uh Izzy, but like think like thinking about it, like Sunny is just me, so I have to go with Sunny. Yeah. Okay. Sunny and, then, so Sunny, have... and Izzy, Sunny and Izzy for best character, it's a tie because they okay. all they're just uh Yeah, if they I almost can do that, I'll do that as well. <laughs> so the polls taken. We have Hitch in first, we have Izzy in a distant second, and then we have one sunny vote, or one and a half, I guess, and one zip vote and no pip votes. And yeah. no stride votes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Izzy, I say Izzy, I would say, is pretty really up there with me, too. The one thing with Sunny is, like, she's really a character I really need to see her name not... Because she since she's, like, the main focal point of this story, we see her more as basically the main character leading it, which... Means we don't. I want to see her more in a normal situation outside this story before I. That's what I mean. It's sort of hard to judge her now. If that makes yeah. sense. It's it's just like I relate so much to her. Like yeah. I'm her. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Even from that vantage point, they did. I mean, even if they were traits that main characters very very often had, they did sort of start to, mm-hmm. like, establish how like what stands her apart at the beginning of all of this. That yeah, mm-hmm. the uh planner the sweet one the one who wants to make connections who wants to yeah uh spread that kindness around and all but um don't sound familiar at all <laughs> uh-huh. but uh yeah as the movie went on i guess like the the focal point of her is like constantly on yeah carrying the MacGuffins on yeah how to solve the problem how to mm-hmm. yeah resolve the conflict i mean she yeah, I, I mean, like this. this. They actually solved the conflict before the MacGuffin worked. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I like. Hi. Yeah. Like basically, when you um, assign your character to carry a big rock around, it's 
kind of hard to take the focus off the rock. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess with that said, because we've been recording this section, our thoughts for an hour, just that alone. Any other closing thoughts before we head out? Well, there was the trolls. Go watch the movie. <laughs> Go watch yeah. it. Yes. Uh, yes. Blessedly decent movie. movie. Yes. Although I yes, will say, like, movie. it will make the fandom grow even more. I agree. Okay. I like yeah. the optimism. I think that a show, any show that comes next, is going to have to carry a lot of that burden. I think mm-hmm. that, uh, yeah, th- this one didn't leave us with any, with like, yeah, any wheels in motion that were quite as strong as what was carrying us at the, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, in the beginnings of the last generation. This one, if it doesn't get some more rolling, it, yeah, into a TV show, then. We might be back where we were pretty quick, just, like, fading out season by season. But I also think, like, even the ones that are against, you know, because it's not the main six anymore, they're still there. Like, their spirits are, at least. Yes. So, I think, like, it's worth giving it a try. I'm not interested in the what. I'm interested in how well they do it. They'll come to that. You just need to have patience. Uh, well, I'm, I'm ready to have patience. That doesn't mean I'm not going to speculate and apply sure. the... Uh, That's what makes the uh, fandom grow. <laughs> Speculations and fan theories. Speculate in <laughs> accordance with how writing usually plays out. We are really the perfect couple, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm the fan theories and you're the speculations. Hmm. Oh man, make my uh, it's so sweet. If that's um, how you want to yeah. it. Come here, you. Right. But uh, with that said, room. um, hit a room, you kids. <laughs> but any other or thoughts? Or head out? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say it's like um, Generation Five certainly is starting out with like a very interesting like display of like characters that I can see myself liking on to. Uh, hopefully for the upcoming series because. Yeah, even though I say Pip was like my weak link in the movies, I'm not saying she's a bad character. I'm just saying this wasn't her chance in the actual spotlight. Even though she was phys- physically in the spotlight a lot of the shots, I want to see her emotional character grow up as well. Okay. Pip reminds me very much of my first impression of Rarity right now. Oh, it's yeah. a that character. It's very, very obvious that what they want to do here it's the one who is into that and being that they are into that she's like that and then it took until about uh suited for success probably uh, it until they made you they gave some heart to her and all that and we'll see what they did some of that for pip too yeah. <laughs> but i guess with that yeah. said uh we need to be heading out because yeah we've been we pre uh, this for four hours. Ronies can yeah, talk four... and talk and talk about this. <laughs> yeah, we've been on this podcasting and all that for four hours and thirty minutes right now. So. Oh my gosh! Is that a new uh, record? Yes. New record. Yeah. yeah, which is not surprising. That's why I tried to start this thing like at earlier when we have a slightly earlier recording because like yeah, I was like yeah, this is gonna this is gonna top three hours. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot an of academy it's like trying to get the record. podcast going. I don't think we've been recording that long. No. That's an Academy record. <laughs> we kind of started at 1. We kind of started at 1 o'clock. That was the thing. That's oh, that's true. right. Yeah. So yeah, but, yeah. 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 Yeah.